What's up, y'all? I'm gonna be going over all the stuff that I use to clean the queue and the other cars that I, that uh that's, that are here at my house. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just break down what I use. Um, make sure if you haven't watched my uh, latest videos that I posted uh, recently, go hit those up right now. I was gonna record myself showing you guys everything, but I'm just gonna do it this way because I don't know, it feels a lot more easier this way. I don't have someone helping me record either. So yeah, um, first to start off, you can go get this little cart at a nearby um, Harbor Freight or any other local uh, labor store. I only got this for, I think, uh, 60 bucks. So yeah, I built it myself and stuff, but yeah. Um, I feel like it comes in really in handy. So yeah, that was 60 bucks. Um, and then yeah, I'm gonna just jump straight into it of everything I got from Chemical Guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the microfiber rags, these plush rags. Um, they're really good on surfaces, especially if you don't wanna scratch too. These ones are so plush and these ones are really good. It's their famous mammoth towel. So yeah, this thing's sick. Um, when I clean the queue today, I'm gonna actually end up using this. Um, after you soap it down, wash it down, I usually hit it with this and this usually takes off most of the wa leftover water and everything. And then, yeah, so that's called the mammoth towel. Then I go over here to these plush towels, the smaller ones, um, get in between the smaller areas, um, more for like the bumper and the front grill and stuff to get in between those cracks and areas. So yeah. Um, that's that. When I am uh, detailing my car, I always use gloves too. Um, yeah, you can just go get some gloves from either the dollar store or Home Depot or Lowe's. I got these uh, Kobo ones for like $13, but these are really good though. These will last me a long time. Um, then I got this one too. This isn't Chemical Guys, but I ended up buying this from I think Walmart. Um, this one's really plush. I use this one a lot too. Um, and then going to these thinner uh, plush Chemical Guys rags. Um, these ones are a lot thinner than the blue ones. Um, so like for these ones, I would uh, I would get like between the wheel and the barrel area inside your wheels and stuff. And so yeah, um, these ones are really good. Um, and if some of you guys didn't know about microfiber rags, um, there's a plush and like there's a rough side. You can see the difference. This is the rough side. And then you go to the plush side. So just be careful what side you're using it on on your vehicle. I mean, unless you're the type that doesn't care, then all right. But yeah. So going into all my uh, stuff I use, um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a lot of this stuff, but a lot of this stuff that I use, it was before I got the wrap. So my Q50 was, uh, it comes uh, silver something. Um, it's a gray color. So yeah, a lot of these I'm gonna go over with you guys. I don't use them on the wrap no more until you know I end up taking off the wrap and going back to the OEM color, but yeah. Um, so yeah. We'll start off with this uh, uh, Glass Works Auto Wash. Like a wax and a sealant. Um, I used it once, guys. I'm probably not going to use it again, honestly, until, again, I go back to my original OEM color. Then I'll probably use that on this. So, yeah. This stuff work, works really good for, like, um, for like colors, like, uh, like purple, red, blue. You can use it on OEM colors, uh, yellow, um, bright colors. This stuff works really good. This is the glass works auto wash so yeah um this stuff right here i usually hit this once a month on my queue um this is the headlight restoration this is really good um so you can just use uh where is my stuff at? i have stuff over there for that but this is for headlight restoration i'm just gonna i don't want to go through the whole two-step process with you guys but yeah this is for your headlights another really good product by chemical guys The VSS scratch roll remover by Chemical Guys. This stuff's really good too. Um, so again, I don't use this on the wrap. I used it before I got the wrap uh, to get some swirls and stuff out of my paint. Um, you got to be very careful with this stuff though. You do need a buffer and everything um, to use this as well. And again, this is another two-step process. Um, I have a clay bar right here. You got to get a clay bar for this and you got to get a whole a couple other things just so you can uh, go through this whole process with the VSS. Again, this one, the butter wax. Um, again, I used this on the paint a long time ago. I'm not going to use this at all until I get the wrap off again. So yeah, this is just a butter wax. Uh, if you want to get that, again, this helps with those scratches and swirls. If you want to get that, uh, help buffing that paint out to get the to get it shining, the looking OEM like how it should be, then yeah, that's the good stuff right there. Again, the Jet Seal by Chemical Guys. It's a sealing and paint correction. 
same shit you gotta get through you gotta go through some steps with this I'm not gonna go through the steps i'm just showing you guys what i got um this foaming citric fabric clean um it's for like your upholstery and your carpet inside um it's really good um i've yet to use it actually on my um on my like the foot carpets that you put your feet on in the vehicle so i i plan on trying that out one day but yeah this is for your upholstery and stuff um Getting that fabric and that upholstery looking shiny and just helping buffing it out, taking out old cracks and stuff. I hear this is really good as well. VRP for your rubber, Vinley, and plastic. This I feel like it's good for. Um, I use it on my on my Jeep. It's creeping over there. Um, this I feel like is really good. Um, if you wanna, um, if you have plastic trim as far as like your step boards or your front bumper your rear bumper for a lot of off-roading cars even trucks and stuff i wouldn't use it on carbon or nothing like that but yeah um it's a two-step process with this as well um and then yeah so that's just restoring and shining giving it back that oem plastic vinley or, pla or uh, rubber look that you want and then this right here is what i'm gonna be using today i'm still debating if i'm gonna wash the queue or not because it's hot as hell but um this is Chemical Guys Wrap Detailer. Yes, sir. Um, I got to dilute this and make it into another bottle because I don't want to waste this. This one, I use this a lot. But yeah, um, for all your wrap, for all my wrap guys, um, whoever has a wrap, you can use it. Um, if you're about to go to a car meet, you know, that's a, that's in another hour and it's right up the street or whatever and you don't want to wash the car or whatever, this is really good stuff. I usually hit the whole car with water really quick. Then I'll hit it with this, just to give it that mixture. In my opinion, that's what I do. If not, I've hit it a couple times without water. I just hit it with just this. So yeah, um, for all my, it's also good for like uh, shiny wraps, like purple, red, brown, uh, gloss green, green, um, that lime color, yellow. So yeah, it's some good stuff. Again, that's the wrap tea teller by Chemical Guys. Um, also guys, uh, I know a lot of Chemical Guys stuff, um, each one of these bottles is like, uh, I think it's like 10 or $11, so yeah. This is also, this is that other uh, two-step process. This and also the um, the VSS. Um, this is that clay luber. This is where you'll be hitting it with as far as um, after. You can hit this on your carbon fiber and stuff. I tried it on my wing, but because of the previous owner fucked up that wing, uh, there's already scratches and stuff that just won't come off. But yeah, this is that other... Um, bottle for that clay remover and then going into this i have a few more guys um this right here i use so much it's the nonsense invisible super cleaner um this is also by chemical guys good stuff right here um this stuff you can hit with the engine bay detailing your engine bay taking out all that grease and grime you could do that um i use this stuff a lot again i gotta dilute this because i use this a lot i don't want to just end up wasting 12 dollars all quick and shit but yeah nonsense invisible super cleaner by chemical guys all right next one sticky citrus wheel cleaner this is some good stuff right here um, i actually hit this with my wheels a lot um this stuff sticks i know there's another one the red diablo one by uh chemical guys a lot of people know that one too that one's really good as well i wish i had that bottle but i already went through it um but yeah sticky citrus wheel cleaner this is like a a thick wheel cleaner like a gel as it says right there but yeah this one's really thick and this one packs on i would just wait a minute after you start hitting your wheels in your barrels or whatever around your lug nuts and all, all around the um spokes and all that this is some good stuff right here i don't even i'm goo gone everyone knows this shit um it's always good to have this in your um arsenal so yeah goo gone again this is some good shit right here um, just to get out, like, uh, if you're taking off uh, some some uh, decals or some emblems or something um, with some uh, string, you can hit this with that. So, yeah, Goo Gone's really good. Right here, this is the Armor All Glass Cleaner. This is the glass cleaner that I use. I don't like Chemical Guys Glass Cleaner. Um, this is the one that I use. It's very strong on the and I feel like it takes off most of the dirt after you're getting a complete wash of your car. So yeah, I don't know, the cue's still looking good, even dirty. But yeah, Armor All Glass Cleaner. This is really good, inside and out on your glass. Has that glass looking like glass, you know? I don't even know if that shit makes sense. And then Meguiar's Hot Shine Tire Coating. This is the shit that I use. Right here, guys, this is the shit. So if I'm putting it on now, I'm putting it on now. Um, 
if it's too watery, if you guys, in your guys' opinion, if you end up trying out, hey, that's you. But for me, it leaves my wheel, it leaves my tires shining for about a week. And yeah, Meguiar's Hot Shine Tire Coating. Both of those Meguiar products you can get at Walmart as well. Um, going into the big boy, this is the shit that I use. Honeydew Snow Foam Auto Wash. This is what I use if I'm not using the wrap detailer, what I went over, th over with you guys earlier. Um, don't use this whole thing. And guys, whoever's, if whenever you're washing your car, please don't just dump it. I mean, you could dump it from here, but don't don't use a lot. As 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 much water as you put, you just need a little and end up diluting, let it mix and stuff. Mix it in a circle and a circular motion. And so yeah, this shit is really good. Honeydew Snow Foam Auto Wash. That's what I use on the queue. This big boy, I think Rammy 30, I don't even remember, like 25, 30 bucks, but yeah. I've had it for over a month now and I'm barely not even used the uh, top of it, but yeah. Um and some of these, I just, I bought these from the dollar store. I plan on diluting some stuff and using these as far as, like, the tire shine, um, the wrap detailer. I plan on diluting them into these. These are also really good to use, guys, at the dollar store. You can get these. I only got these for, I think, 99 No, uh, yeah, 99 cents or, like, 80 cents. I don't know. Some shit. A dollar. So, I got three of them. Plan on using them soon. But, yeah. Um. All right. And then, uh, going down to here. I got my uh, my wash rags and stuff. Um, these are pretty good. Um, again, you got two sides, a soft side and this side. I usually hit the wrap with this side right here just cause uh, the soap and stuff and these little um, fingers end up getting everywhere. Helps out a lot with the, when you're detailing your cars and stuff. And then also for this side, I feel like this side I use for like more of like the smoother sides, like the headlights and the windows and the, um, I use it for my roof and my mirror caps and my side skirts and all that shit. But yeah, I got another one right here. I haven't even opened it up yet. It's still brand new, but yeah. Um, let me open this up. Got this for the wheels. Again, I haven't even used this yet. Um, this one's so soft guys. Um, I would recommend getting a wheel cleaner like this just to get between the spokes and, and the barrels and everywhere. And then, yeah, so this is good right here. Um, I think this brush right here ran me, uh, I think $8. So, yeah. Um, and then also for this shit, also for this, uh, again, getting back there in between your wheels that you can't really reach between the spokes and all that. This is really good as well. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's see. Got these. Um, these used to have handles. You got them for chem. I got them for chemical guys. I think they're only like two or three dollars. Um, these are for the tire shine. Um, you can apply it on here and then just hit it around the tires and stuff. Maybe a little in the tires, around the walls of the tires. Yeah. These are really handy, but I need to get a new one because my handle came off. I got another one right there too. Um, yeah. Shout out. Shout out to my girl too for getting me this uh, this chemical guys bag. What the fuck. Um, little chemical guys detailing bag uh, that I could take with me whenever I'm on the road. These are actually really good guys. I just haven't had a chance to fill it up and stuff. Once I dilute some of these chemicals, I'll probably throw it in my trunk and always have that on the go with me wherever I go. But yeah, shout out to my girl for this. It's pretty sick. Ugh. And I got my uh, my coolant. Um, Wiper fluid, wash fluid, um, some more coolant. Um, gotta always have those. Um, got this chemical guys, uh, the Pro Blow. Hey, I just bought. I just got these from my trunk. I totally forgot. I left these last time I detailed my car when I was at a car show. But um, this is that leather quick detailer. Uh, this is a two step. You can use this for your interior, for your leather. Some good stuff right here. I would. Honestly, go check it out if you guys haven't by Chemical Guys. So, yeah, there's that leather de quick detailer. Um, I lied. I actually ended up finding it. I thought I used the bottle, but here's the Diablo wheel cleaner. This is the good stuff if you guys want your wheels to be looking like that shine OEM look, how you want them to look. Diablo wheel cleaner by Chemical Guys. And then um, right here, that total interior cleaner and protective. This stuff's good. So, yeah, you guys can use this for your glass dashboards um leather as well 
go use that for your interior. I also forgot to tell you guys these. I found these in my car as well. Um, I use these to get between the lug nuts and the wheels to clean them real good. I didn't use them in the video just because it's hella hot and I just wanted to do a quick time lapse for you guys on how I get down. But yeah, clean the lug nuts. Just go through the spokes and all that. Just get in there real good. This takes out the little bits and pieces that you can't get to with the bigger brush. So yeah, my chemical guys. And then these, um, these were for like a... This brush right here was for like uh, bigger vehicles like Jeeps and trucks, uh, like those wheels that are a different type of, uh, I can't fucking explain it, but yeah, um, that's what this brush is for, just to clean those wheels and stuff. And then this was just a regular wheel brush, but yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. Just wanted to go over with the little setup I have of what I use. Again, you guys can use whatever you want, but if you want to take anything from this video, you're more than welcome. Also, shout out to Chemical Guys. I don't know why Chemical Guys... I don't know if they do, but I don't know why Chemical Guys doesn't sponsor people. I wish they did. wish they would give me a sponsorship. So where you at, Chemical Guys? Anyways, um, I am going to start get, put, getting into some new products that I want to use, but that's in the future. Um, use what I got for now, you know? But yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, wash the cue down with the water. Just a quick wash. I'm not going to use the power washer. Um, I'm going to end up washing it down with the hose. Now I'm going to end up just doing a quick, uh, the wrap detail. I'm going to end up using that good stuff and watch how I get down. So that's it, y'all. Uh, I just finished cleaning the queue. Hopefully, you guys watched that time lapse. Uh, looks mint now. Hell yeah, look at that. Looks clean, bruh. Also, I want to get my calipers painted red. Um, drop down below in the comments what color you guys think I should paint my calipers. Uh, I don't. I have them Tiffany blue right now, but I want to get them changed. But yeah, look at this baby. She's nice and mint right now. Clean. Again. I would, if you guys want to use that wrap detail on your wraps, if you want to just do a quick detail, I would just water, uh, wash down the car real quick with just some, with your hose or your power wash or whatever, and then hit it with that wrap detail. You can hit the spray all the way around. Just knock it all out after that. But yeah, <sighs> sorry if I'm shaking. I'm <sighs> breathing hard. But yeah, here she is. Damn, I love this wrap. It has like a pink to it when it hits the sun. It has like that, that color change. Look at that pink. And then it goes back to dark purple. Look at that. Uh, the beast. But yeah. Yes, sir. There she is. We're all done now. All right, y'all. Well, hope you guys like the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Do all that. We running up to that 1K soon. I'm going to keep posting. Be on the lookout for the next video. Go see my recent videos. If any of y'all copped a Q or a Q60, Q50, whatever. Go watch those videos. And yeah, deuces.